mine everyone so today we've come to a city called Kandy we came here from Sigiria yesterday it was a very cheap bus ride a very scenic one as usual I think it cost around 110 rupees per person and it was around two to three hours so yeah really good price we arrived here last night so yeah it was pitch black and I couldn't really see the place at all so I've just come to the rooftop now and yeah I can see it is actually quite beautiful here so here is a busy city not like Sigiria where it's all nature everywhere but you can still see in the background against the sun right now it's just one big forest area all the way around and then our rooftop here just has a little spot to eat and behind us yeah some more forests so we're going to be heading out soon there's a really nice lake here that we're going to visit first and there's quite a lot of other different things to do we're not exactly quite sure which which um, activities we're going to do but yeah we'll work it out as we go along the lake that I was talking about before it's actually pretty busy here in Kandy I didn't realize it was gonna be such a busy city but not too bad I guess so this is it here you can see there's like um, an island in the middle as well and then there's this walkway here so apparently it take about an hour to walk all the way around you you want to walk around yeah it might as well right so we'll see what we find out there and this is actually an artificial lake. It was built in 1807, I think, by the king here. And he was actually the last king of Kandy and Sri Lanka. Because then the British invaded and then, yeah, they no longer had a monarchy, right? Yeah, so I say it's definitely worth walking here. Really just beautiful surrounding all the way around the lake. There's actually a lot of European looking buildings here as well. So that was pretty interesting to see. And right now on this bridge, on this side you have some murky looking brown water. And then on the other side it's more of a green color. Quite a lot of fishing here as well. Apparently fishing is illegal got the nice mirror image going on right now what do you think beautiful very beautiful yeah around the lakes actually quite calm right yeah. not like the the main city check this out we got one of the English mailboxes post office <laughs> yeah. what the hell is that thing it's like a big fat lizard. <laughs>
So we just came to this cafe, Cafe 7, on the lakeside. So I got some milk tea for 100 rupees. And here has more European style food. So me and Carol are both going for the panini, the tuna fish panini, 400. Pretty good price. Guys, so check the size of this panini. <laughs> the monster panini. Are you gonna be able to eat it all? I don't know. No, no. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. I'm, I'm gonna give it a go. Looks pretty tasty. Check it out. <laughs> Good? Yeah. Very tasty. Very tasty? Alright. So we just got in a tuk tuk. We're gonna be heading to a temple that has a big Buddha statue. We could see the big Buddha statue from when we were walking around the city. And the tuk tuk's gonna cost around 250 rupees to get there for 11 minutes. entered the temple area it was 250 per person to enter you do have to wear long pants here if you're male you can't wear your shoes and if you're female like Carol you gotta cover up pretty much everything they're pretty strict here so if you look here you can already see the the Buddha there so yeah we're just gonna walk up now just waiting for these people to take pictures now nice and windy here there's actually pretty much nobody here there's just two other tourists I think and that's about it so there you got the the Buddha behind me in the meditation pose 88 feet high and it's one of the highest in Sri Lanka apparently and then also from up here you get an awesome view of the city so back there is the lake we were at before we're staying around here somewhere our hotel and then even all the way around you can see other areas of the city back there so really nice spot so it turns out you can actually come inside the Buddha statue I had no idea so uh, yeah there's loads of carvings and stuff on the walls that you can see so here I guess you have the Buddha and his disciples under the tree these people kind of look evil looking, I guess. The evil people scared of the, the Buddha, maybe. And I like the paintings on the ceiling. On the ceiling? Yeah. Oh yeah, check that out. It's like a mandala, I guess. Got one in every section. Now we've come to another spot, probably the most popular thing to see here. It's called Temple of the Sacred Tooth Relic, because here they have the tooth of uh, the Buddha, the founder of Buddhism. So this is a huge popular site for Buddhists around the world. It's one of the most sacred sites for Buddhists ever. And it's right next to the lake where we started. So we haven't paid anything yet. I guess you got to pay further inside. We'll see. So I think this ahead is the temple. Very cool looking building, different to any 
temple building that I've seen before and you can see the majority of the people are dressed in white we read that a lot of people do that I'm not sure what it represents but yeah if you want to you can wear white so we got the entrance ticket here 1500 for foreigners To a really beautiful hall here. You can see all the amazing looking statues back there. And then here above has the story of the Buddha. So this shows Prince Siddhartha who later turned into Gautama Buddha. All the way around there's the whole story. You'd have to go all the way around the room. And then on this side the story ends with the the tooth relic so we decided to rest a bit this place is in fact a royal palace so that's why it looks different to any other temple that I've seen because it's not a temple it's a royal palace and the temple is within it and there's gonna be a ritual later on at 6:30, an important ritual so we're just gonna stick around yeah I'm not sure what to expect but it's definitely worth uh, waiting for apparently so that's what we're gonna do back at the apartment that we're staying in now so just to explain those last few scenes you probably saw the monks and a few of the people there going into that room so that room there is where the tooth is of the of the Buddha only special people can go in there the general public are not allowed to go in there obviously it's just a small tooth as well so if everybody wanted to see it would probably be a chaos I think there was about 200 to 300 people there it was pretty pretty packed at the end and I'll just show you quickly where we're staying because like I said it's it's an apartment and it's only $11 so really good price so it is only a fan room but it is cool at night at the moment because we're getting into winter but we have the mosquito net if needed so pretty spacious room here and then in here Carol's gonna do the bathroom tour <laughs> that's the bathroom 
yeah, pretty nice bathroom. And then through here, we just have a little kitchen area. Nowhere to cook, but yeah, you got the sink and stuff. We don't usually get that. So this place is called Candy Home. Candy with a C though, uh, like the sweets. And um, that was on Airbnb, so yeah, I thought it was pretty good anyway. And that's it for the videos from Candy. We are going to be staying here tomorrow. We'll probably go into the forest, do some hiking. But I don't think I'm going to make a video. I'm just going to have a, a break from blogging. We do that sometimes. And then I think the next video is probably going to be from Ella. I think we're going to try to go to Ella. So yeah, that might be what's coming up. So thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one. Hey!